Ngayon ay magsisimplify naman tayo ng mga radicals at uh, gagamit ng mga operations involving square roots and radicals. Now, yung first um, examples natin, meron tayong square root of 24. At to simplify square root of 24, alam natin na kailangan natin kunin yung mga perfect squares. So, mahalaga na alam nyo yung mga perfect squares nyo at saka yung multiplication tables nyo. At ang square root of 24, pag finactor out natin siya, would give us um, 4 and square root of 6. Dahil yung 4 ay perfect square, pwede natin ilabas si 4 kasi ang square root of 4 at square root of 6, pwede natin siyang paghiwalayin at alam natin square root of 4 ay 2. So, ang ating uh, simplest form ng square root of 24 ay 2 square root of 6. At ito yung gagamitin natin sa pag-simplify uh, ng mga square roots. Now, yung problem number 3, meron tayong third root of negative 162. Now, mahalaga na alam nyo yung uh, multiplication table nyo at saka yung uh, mga perfect squares na meron tayo. So, ito, since cube root yung ginagamit natin, kailangan natin maghanap ng mga cubes na factor ng 162. At ang uh, cubes or ang cube na factor ng negative 162 ay negative 27 times 6. Dahil 27 times 6 ay equal to 162. At ang third root ng 27 ay 3 kasi 3 times 3 times 3 ay equal to 27. Kaya siya yung ating third root. At since negative siya, so ilalabas natin yung negative. So meron tayong negative 3 outside. And then nasa loob yung third root of 6. So ito yung simplest form nung third root ng negative 162. So, dapat alam nyo yung uh, um, multiplication table nyo at yung mga perfect squares at saka cubes ng inyong mga numbers para makuha nyo yung mga roots ng mga polynomials. Now, so problem number 5, meron tayong third root ng 27 m cubed n to the fifth power. Now, kapag in-expand natin to, yung 27 natin, alam natin na 3 times 3 times 3. At yung m, meron tayong tatlong m. At limang n. 1, n, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, yung third root, ang idea ng third root, ibig sabihin nun yung... Uh, um, Pag nag-multiply tayo na isang number by itself 3 times, yun yung magiging cube root niya. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3 groups na pwede natin ilabas kasi ito yung cube root ng ating function. So, meron tayong 3 sa labas times m times n. At yung mga natitira sa loob, sila yung matitira sa third root ng n. So, yung cube root ng 27m cubed n to the fifth ay 3mn cube root of n. So, ito yung simplest form ng ating square roots or a cube root ng problem number 5. So, pag simplify ng square roots, kailangan nyo lang makita yung mga factors at yung mga expansions para mas madali nyo siyang maintindihan. Now, ang gagawin naman natin sa susunod ay yung operations involving square roots. So, yung ating unang example, meron tayong negative 5 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 3. Now, ang idea ng pag-add at subtract ng uh, square roots or radicals ay para rin lang pag-combine or pag-add ng mga polynomials. So, kung meron tayong x plus x, since like term siya, meron tayong 2 square root of x. I mean, 2 x. So, yan yung i-apply natin dito sa square roots. Since pareha siya ng square roots or radical, pwede natin siyang pag-combine in by combining negative 5 and negative 3. And negative 5 minus negative 3 is negative 8. At kukopyahin lang natin si square root of 3. So, ito yung sagot ng ating addition ng problem number 1. Now, sa so problem number 2 naman, meron tayong square root of 45 plus square root of 20. Now, since hindi sila magkaparehas na radicals, hindi natin siya pwede i-combine. 
Pero kung isi-simplify natin yung ating square roots, alam natin yung square root of 45, pwede natin isimplify yan ng um, 9 times 5. At yung 20 naman ay 4 times 5. At yung 9 at saka 4 ay mga perfect squares. So pwede natin siyang ilabas. Meron tayong 3 square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 5. Since now, parehas na silang square root of 5, pwede na natin siyang i-combine. So, ang ating simplest form, nung number 2 would be 3 plus 2 is 5 square root of 5. So, yan yung problem number um, number 3 dito sa examples natin. Now, yung sa problem number 4 naman, or yung number 5, Notice yung mga problems ko is yung mga odd numbers kasi yun yung mga sinasagutan ko para sa um, klasiko. So yung number 5, meron tayong multiplication, square root of 6 times square root of 2. Now in multiplying square roots or radicals, pwede nyo pag-combine in or pag-multiply in sila. So magiging, pwede natin siyang pag-isahin, 6 times 2 which is equal to 12. Now, alam natin yung square root of 12 ay pwede natin i-factor out into 4 times 3 para yung sagot natin ay makakakuha tayo ng simplest form ng square root of three, uh, 12 which is 2 square root of 3. So, yan yung uh, multiplication ng problem number 5. At doon naman sa number 7, gagamitan natin siya ng distributive property. So, kung meron tayong 3 square root of 3 times 4 minus 3 square root of 5. By the distributive property, pag multiply natin to, meron tayong 3 times 4 which is 12 square root of 3. And then, minus 3 times 3 is 9. And square root of 5 is just square root of 3 times square root of 5 is square root of 15. So, ito ngayon yung ating... Uh, um, combined terms na pwede natin siyang hindi na siya natin siyang pwede combine in kasi magkaiba sila ng radicals at yung square root of 15 wala tayong factors na may perfect square kasi ang factors ng 15 ay 3 and 5 lang so ito na yung ating sagot dun sa problem number 7 kasi hindi na natin siya pwede simplify now sa problem number 9 naman meron tayong 2 plus square root of 5 times negative 2 plus 4 square root of 5. Now, by the distributive property, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 2 times 4 square root of 5 is 8, positive 8 square root of 5. And then, we multiply naman natin C, square root of 5 and negative 2, so negative 2 square root of 5. And then, ito, meron tayo ngayong 4, positive 4 times square root of 25 kasi square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 25. Now by simplifying our terms, so meron tayong negative 4 plus 8 square root of 5 minus 2 square root of 5 plus 4 times square root of 5 is 25. So ang pwede natin gawin is to simplify by combining like terms. So pwede natin tong pag Combine in, at pwede din natin itong pagsamahin. So, meron tayong negative 4. And positive 6 square root of 5. And 4 times 5 is 20. So, since pwede natin siyang pagsamahin, 20 minus 4 is 16. Plus 6 square root of 5. So, ito yung sagot natin sa problem number 9. So, yan yung mga pamamaraan ng pag-simplify ng rational expressions by evaluating our expressions. So, kung meron kayong natutunan dito sa video na ito, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you!